Hey, what's going on guys? We have uh, four tips for you today on chest bar pull-ups. Um, we do them in class, you know they're in the open. Um, for some of you, you have those kipping pull-ups already, you have strict pull-ups. There's just a few things we need to tweak to get uh, chest bar or to make your chest bar more efficient. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is opening up your kip. Um, a lot of us when we get tired or we get nervous or it's something new, we shortchange our kip. What I'm gonna talk about is when we're in the front, when we're extending, a lot of us, when we get tired, we come down, we push off, and we make it really short, we try to come back. We do the same exact thing and toes the bar. And all that ends up happening is we turn it into almost a strict chest to bar instead of trusting our kip opening up, all right? So that's number one, trust your kip, all right? You work on it, trust it. Um, number two, we're gonna talk about grip width. So Chris is gonna hop up in his normal pull-up grip, all right? So this is Chris doing normal pull-ups, okay? This is where it does chin-ups, pull-ups, kipping pull-ups. Drop down for a second. The problem is if we go narrow grip, and I'm trying to go chest the bar, it's hard to get my hands to touch my chest, right? If I go wider, that frees up range of motion. So Chris, just show us your difference in your grip. That's his chest the bar. Now Chris has mobile shoulders, so he can get away with going really wide. The more mobile shoulders, you can drop down for me, Chris, thanks. The more mobile you are on your shoulders, the wider you're able to go, cuts down that distance, increases the cycle rate for kipping, especially butterfly as well. All right, the next thing is where the elbows actually go. So Chris, do a couple kipping pulls for us, not chest to bar, just right for kipping. You're gonna see that his elbows come down. Two, and drop down and relax. Now, if I try to go chest to bar with my elbows down, I have nowhere to go again. So you want those elbows to go back, and this is where that grip width helps as well. We now have range of motion to go elbows back and hit our chest to the bar. Go ahead, just do a couple chest to bar for us. You'll see the elbows go back, back, do one more, and then you can relax, good, and relax. So the last tip we're gonna talk about is the head angle, okay? Chris was actually already doing it, which is great. The head angle, we don't wanna be looking at the bar. If I look at the bar when I'm gonna pull at it, here I am, and I'm kinda of stuck. Because for chest to bar, we need to open up and extend through our back or upper back or lower back. We're kinda of weightless up there. Our goal is not to overextend, we just wanna extend enough to touch. All right, so the trick is, Chris was just doing it, instead of looking at the pull-up bar or looking straight out, he's gonna look towards the ceiling. Sometimes he can pick the corner, and that allows him to open up and touch. Just do a couple fours. Yeah, touch again. And good, you can see that hangles a little bit up. All right, those are tips for you. Come to Open Gym, practice first, work on getting that kip nice and big and strong, and then you can video yourself, see what's going on with your elbows and your head angle. If you like it, please like it, share it. Put it on social media. I'm sure everyone will appreciate it. I didn't say subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs>